Welcome back. We're focusing today on internal parasites in cattle and the best ways to combat them. We've talked about long range, the parasite life cycle, and pasture contamination. Now let's focus on the benefits of treating the cow. And uh, Tony, I would just ask you, uh, what benefits should our viewers expect from, from treating cows? Well, the cow's the factory, right? It's the factory not only of the eggs that are getting shed onto the, onto the pasture and contaminating the pasture, but they're also the factory of the milk that's feeding that calf its side, and then also the factory of the calf that's coming next year. So really, to get the best bang for your buck, it makes good sense to treat the cow. And on that note, we have another video to share with you. Here's some additional insight on the value of treating cows. Parasite control is one of the most important herd management decisions you make each season. As you probably know, just a 10% improvement in weaned calf crop reduces the break-even by $16.82 per hundredweight and increases net income by $120 per pair. But if you're focusing your deworming protocol just on calves, parasites are literally sucking away at your profitability. Parasites in cows can negatively impact the immune system and reduce nutritional efficiency. This leads to lower body condition, which reduces conception rates and decreases milk production. This in turn can affect weaning weights in calves. That's why parasite control in the cow is essential to cow-calf profitability. As you know, you can't have a calf crop without calves. An open cow isn't just underperforming, she's actually costing you money. By managing for conception, you're making sure your cows are actually in the game. Cows that conceive late, calve late, and that can decrease weaning weights by as much as 40 or more pounds. So managing for conception should not only target ways to get cows to breed back, but breed back as early as possible. Stabilizing weight is vital. This graph shows the energy needs for milk and body maintenance. Peak lactation comes approximately 85 days post-calving. There is a feed shortfall and loss of body energy stores that take place at that time. But this is also when a cow needs to cycle and settle to stay on schedule for the heaviest calf possible at weaning. Because of these energy shortfalls, however, cows are often losing weight at this point. And cows that are losing weight are 17% less likely to conceive at first service and 14% won't show heat at all. Parasite infections in cows reduce feed efficiency and appetite. Effective parasite control at this time can help stabilize the cow's weight so she has the energy to conceive. But that's hard to do because conventional dewormers only last 14 to 42 days. So even if you treated your cows with a conventional dewormer when you turned them out, it's no longer working at peak lactation. Only Long Range delivers season-long parasite control in a single dose. But earlier and better conception is only part of the story. Producers tend to focus on worms in their cattle, but it's the worms on your pasture that should really be the concern, especially the L3 larva phase. Initially, the only larvae on the grass are those that have overwintered in the soil. Without a host, these larvae will begin starving to death once the temperature and their metabolism starts to increase. This takes place before calves start grazing. But as cows eat the larvae, the parasite life cycle continues and the cows load the pasture with new eggs. These eggs hatch and larvae build up on the pasture throughout the summer. These are the larvae that eventually infect the calves. Deworming cows results in fewer eggs being deposited on the pasture for a period of time, depending on the dewormer. The problem with conventional dewormers is that they only last a short time. So even if cows were dewormed in the spring, the dewormer has worn off by the time parasite larvae reach their heaviest concentration midsummer, which is also about the time calves start grazing. When you do a spring treatment of cows with long range, the cows act like a filter for the pasture because few overwintering juveniles that are ingested become adults. That means fewer eggs are shed onto the pasture to infect calves or to overwinter to infect cows and calves next season. So you'll see the benefits in two calf crops, this year's and next's. By controlling parasites all season, long range can help you get more profit out of your pasture. How much? In a study, cow-calf pairs were treated with long range or Cydectin Plus Safeguard. After 104 days, steers treated with long range gained 40 pounds more than the Cydectin Safeguard group. At $2 per pound, that's $80 more per steer. Ready to see a difference in your herd's performance? Visit thelongrangelook.com to see how your current program stacks up to long range. 
Then talk to your veterinarian for prescribing information or call 1-888-637-4251. Do not treat within 48 days of slaughter. Not for use in female dairy cattle 20 months of age or older, including dry dairy cows or in veal calves. Post-injection site damage, such as granulomas and necrosis, can occur. These reactions have disappeared without treatment.